we learned about Silence very early on um, when it was first coming coming around and it was something that was a, a, a very interesting opportunity to be involved with. So um, just the different way about thinking um, really rang true, especially as I was developing the program at Phoenix Children's, where we didn't necessarily have the big teams and budgets to address what the others require a, quite a large infrastructure to do. When you're looking in the proof of concept and what is sometimes called proof of value now, the ability to deploy our, this product on top of our current product allowed us to look at them side by side. It was an immediate proof of value to see that there were things making it through that we necessarily were not being alerted to that we were now getting an increased visibility on. Using the Threat Zero service to be able to step through all of the just what you needed to do to get it done. Um, we did it in a very short time frame. We, uh, we made a 100% transition from the traditional endpoint protection to Silence. Having Protect do the job that it does really has reduced the amount of time that we have to spend on really the response aspect of that operational team, giving us more time to look forward. If it wasn't for our weekly review of the events that happen, there have literally been events that we didn't know happened that easily would have impacted some form of operations around the hospital. The idea that you have a central console that really it reaches across your entire organization, um, it's the first thing and really probably to this day the only thing that I have complete confidence in where it was deployed, how it was deployed, and gives me that visibility I can rely on across my infrastructure.